crucify me like they did Christ. They want to find me not breathing like they Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fight Star Championships 21 from the Brentford Leisure Center. We start with an amateur bantamweight contest contested over three three-minute rounds. Musharif Sadiq fighting out of the blue corner, 1-0 in the black shorts, representing Diesel Jim, taking on Rowan Dar from Kudo UK in the RDX black, trimmed with yellow shorts. Ricky Wright, thank you for joining me, sir. Uh, you're very welcome. It's exciting to be here at Fight Stars right here in London. The biggest show in London on this very night, I promise you that. Forget about the UFC. This is where the magic really happens. This is Fight Stars. Absolutely, this is where you see the next crop of UFC talent. And a great takedown there from Rowan Dar. He's, he's not, not picked up a win yet in the cage. Sadiq is 1-0, but Rowan Dar taking top position. And good work from Sadiq to get himself back to his feet and secure that body lock, Ricky. Yeah, got to be careful to keep that guard up when he's coming in, when he's coming in. Nice body kick there, and look to follow in with the knee, and now trying to muscle Sadiq down to the ground, but Sadiq wise to it. Well, uh, it's a testament that we, we've happened to lose a couple of fights tonight, but those, those fights could have been filled by journeymen or cans, and promoter Raj just not having that only good contest here at Fight Star. Sadiq almost on the neck but Dar pulls himself out and is looking to consolidate that top position. Yeah Sadiq's done that a number of times now. He, he hasn't been kept down but he wants to be off that cage as he eats a right hand there from Rowan Dar and again to the body well I don't want to age you Ricky but I know you've been around the fight game for a little while and as have I and you look at some of the amateurs today and they would have been competitive with the pros seven or eight years ago. 100%. 30 seconds left in this round. Rowan Dar was holding the center of the cage for a moment there. Pace is slowed a little bit, but these guys came out fast and worked hard. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with you, and it's going to be up to Sadiq to, to change it up a little bit. Dar doing well, backing his man up. Sadiq, though, not out of this by any means. Ah, uh, the seconds have cleared. Second of three three minute rounds here. Make sure if Sadiq fighting out of the blue corner, the black shorts, Rowan Dar in the yellow and gray RDX, and Sadiq. Straight in on the body after eating that shot. Yeah, I think maybe Sadiq's not in. He, he spent more time on the ground than his opponent in the first round. Maybe he's not going to see how his top game is. If he gets up as fast as he did, maybe he has great ground control too. Well, he's um, almost moved to the back there, controlled the ankle, gave Dar nowhere to go, and as soon as. Ooh! Boy, you're not allowed to do fingers in the cage a little bit. Referee straight on that. Good to see. And now we've got Mushrif Sadiq pressuring Dar against the cage. His head was a little low. He's lifted it up now. Got to be careful not to drop that head too low. Yeah, he's looking to uh, slow the pace of the fight down. Uh, obviously, the first round was a very fast-paced round. He's looking to see what his top game is like. And uh, oh. uh, Dar isn't as quick as getting back to his feet. No, and, and a lovely little knee to the body, Ricky. Every time you see one of those anywhere in the cage tonight, I'm going to pop at it. But good control from Musharraf Sadiq. Strong turn by Rowan Dar, though, who's looking to get underneath the hips, secure those hands, and perhaps send Sadiq for a ride. Sadiq using that Kimura grip. Strike 
Uh, body shots there, coming in for Mo and Dar, cause Sadiq to break the clinch. And Sadiq answers, they both exchanged hard kicks to the body. And again, Dar's just not giving Sadiq any room at all, pressuring forward. Again, gonna try and walk Sadiq back to the cage, and he does. He does, hands are a little bit low, but... Uh, oh, another heavy body shit. Sadiq tries to throw the right hand to answer, but there's no one there. And it's all right sticking your tongue out when you make your opponent miss, but you got to do a little more in order to win the round. Oh, that was close. Cage door clears. Final three minutes here in this amateur bantamweight contest. Musharif Sadiq fighting out of the blue corner, the black shorts. Rowan Dar fighting out of the red corner, the RDX trunks. And as we figure, maybe two rounds to the good. <laughs> yeah. Not the way you want to go viral. And against Sadiq, it seems like at the, he starts the rounds really quite well. And he's just got to be able to maintain that pressure for the next 150 seconds. Easier said than done. Oh, amen, brother. I'd rather be in this seat than that one. And again, starting to feel, starting to feel a little frisky. His own hands are a little bit low, but he doesn't feel the danger. And again, he's worked that body shot all fight. Again, Dar's forcing. Oh! St staggered him with that short straight. Nice knee to the body. And again, it is Rowan Dar who's holding the center of the fighting area and pushing Sadiq back. Sadiq, nice! Change of level in on the double. Couldn't see it as Chan transitioning to try and get that single. Yeah, as when Dar went down there, his back and hips were up against the cage, and he used that to immediately pop back up. You can see Dar trying to flatten out a little bit. And it's great work from Sadiq. He didn't give up on that takedown at all. He kept working and succeeded, but Dar back to the cage, post on, and up he gets again. Is Sadiq going to be able to move around to the back? Final few seconds left in this round. Mushrif Sadiq pressuring Rowan Dar up against the cage, but that's all it is is pressuring. Dar turns off, hits that big body shot again, and starts to walk Sadiq down. Oh, a couple, couple of nice shots.